is our new patient. Hedgehogs really ought to look both ways before they cross the road. Off. Oh, uh, don't be too hard on her. The mother's just died in a road accident. She seems to be taking it very well. Oh, no! Look at me! Look at me! Tiffany, what on earth are you doing? Hi, Surgeon Sally. Look what I can do! Get down right this minute. I'm not having you leaving here more damaged than when you came in. I'm perfectly safe. Whoa! 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 Told you! You really ought to rest after all you've been through. I can see right up your nose. <laughs> Dr Matthews. What? Oh, hello, Kitty. Have you been sitting in here in the dark since first thing in the morning? I, well, I, I suppose I must have been. Dr. Matthews, I, I've noticed you've been a little down lately. Lovesick, perhaps? What? Oh, no. I, it's just... I've got fleas. What? In my house. And it's going to take weeks to get rid of them. And my car's on its last legs. And my television's on the blink. Everything just seems to be going wrong. Are you sure I can't help at all? Well, Kitty. Yes? There's always... Yes? A fresh mug of hot tea might be nice. Oh. No, 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 no. Hey, Tiffany, no. what are you listening to? I don't recognise that tune. It's not plugged in. I'm not listening to anything. Suckers! <laughs> Is your mum going to bring you some music when she visits you? I haven't got a mum anymore. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I know! Let's play trampolines! Whee! <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Oh, watch out. Oi! What do you think you're doing? Well, we've noticed you've been feeling a little down recently. How suffocating me supposed to help? This is our latest invention. A hypnosis helmet. You just pop it on and the sights and sounds of the world disappear. Except for the voice of the person who's hypnotising you into feeling better. Observe. Arthur? Arthur? <sighs> um, perhaps we need to do a little more work on the volume control. Ah, Dr Matthews, I hear you've been feeling a little down. Uh, well, I... I always find that a donut helps. Fancy one, Dr. Matthews? No, thanks, Dr. Atticus. I seem to have gone off my food lately. Cut, cut, cut off your food? Dr. Matthews, you couldn't go and check on young Tiffany for me? Of course, yes. Tiffany, poor little thing. If she doesn't get Dr. Matthews to snap out of it, nothing will. Got ya! <laughs> Oliver! You're it! Theodore! <laughs> oh, no. Wrong bed. Uh, wrong bed? Hiya, Dr. Matthews. Hiya, Tiffany. How's that snout of yours? It's fine. How's yours? Oh, mustn't grumble. Come here. Let's have a look at it. Listen, I can make a noise I couldn't make before. <laughs> Very clever, Tiffany. But with a bit of luck, you'll soon be back making normal hedgehog noises. Now, tell me if it hurts when I do this. Yes. And this? Yes. And this? No. Eh? Only kidding! <laughs> you should have seen your face! <laughs> Afternoon, ladies. Hello, Dr Matthews. You seem to have cheered up a little. Oh, I've just had a nice long chat with Tiffany Hedgehog. Poor little thing. Having to have all those painful operations. On top of losing her mother. That's what I mean. She's a lesson to us all. So bright, so cheerful. But don't you think she's, well... A bit too cheerful. Quick, all hands to the pumps. What, what, what on earth's the matter, Atticus? It's young Tiffany Hedgehog. We can't find her anywhere. Tiffany? But I was only talking to her a few minutes ago. According to Oliver and Theodore, she said she was going for a walk. And now she's disappeared. Tiffany? 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 Get out of my way. This is important. Get out of my way. This is important. 
Tiffany, 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 Tiffany. Oh, this is hopeless. I'm worried I might have said something to upset her when we were chatting. Oh, you could never upset anybody, Dr. Matthews. I've never known anyone who was, well, so good at, at making people feel good about themselves. Just a minute. Can you hear something? Well, it might be my heart beating. Well, it sounds like snoring. <sighs> Tiffany! Tiffany! Where am I? Oh, Tiffany, we've been looking for you everywhere. Tiffany, I, I'm sorry if I said something to upset you earlier. No, I I just wanted to go somewhere quiet to have a cry. I must have fallen asleep. Am I in trouble? What? No, of course not, dear. We were just worried about you. It, it's very tiring being cheerful all the time. You don't have to be cheerful all the time, Tiffany. But when I'm not... People feel sorry for me, and, and it reminds me how much I miss my mummy. Tiffany, it's all right to feel low. But it's important to talk about it to someone. Otherwise, things just get worse and worse. Hmm. This is a job for Felicity. This is Felicity, Tiffany. She can help you. I don't need any help. I'm a very good listener, Tiffany. Sometimes it helps to talk when you have problems. I used to talk to my mummy about my problems, but she isn't here anymore. Now you can talk to me. I know it's hard to talk about things, but sometimes it really helps. I really miss my mummy. Who's going to tuck me into bed at night? I'll have no one to hold my hand when I go to nursery, or kiss it better when I hurt myself. <laughs> and I've always said that the secret of happiness is a full stomach and a warm blanket. Kitty, how did it go? How's Tiffany? They've only just started, Dr. Matthews. Oh, I just feel bad for not realizing she was laughing on the outside and crying on the inside. She'll be fine now. Felicity's very good at whatever it is she does. Have you ever thought of seeing a counselor, Dr. Matthews? For when you're feeling blue? I... well, I've thought about it, but... Well, I mean, when I feel down, I can always talk to my friends, like Atticus and Sally and... Well, you, Kitty. Really, Dr. Matthews? Would you really trust me with your problems? Well, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I think a lot of you, Kitty. And I... well... Ah, oh, I... there you are, Dr. Matthews. I need your opinion on a very nasty case of wind. Yes, Sally. Right away. Oh, Dr. Matthews. What's your name? 